Hi guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand the concept of state in React Native. So, states and props are the a very basic fundamental in the React JS and React Native. So, let's get started with them. And guys, yes, one more thing. Uh, I want to tell that whenever state is, state is change in React Native, the uh, page is rendered again. Uh, I mean, the screens is uh, reload again you can see that reload that means render this function will call again when when our state is changed and with that the only tag which is uh, which we need to update is only reload and the other rest of tag will never got reload uh, after the state change so that's why this is working very fast so let's get started with that so first of all i need a con constructor function and with that uh, we need a super keyword super keyword is allowed to use the, this concept in react native so if you you are going to comment this then you can see that the error here which is the constructor so that this is required to call the constructor uh, super keyword okay now uh, we have to start uh, we can define a state like that this dot state equal to just create an object and like i'm going to create a object of that and which is hello so this is a way to define the state and how we can call that so just i'm going to change the texture i can delete this and start with the curly brackets here and just put this dot state dot state name dot like object and you can see that Okay, so you can see that understand the concept of state which is come from the state object so that's fine so how we can update this so whenever we are going to start with the any new technology we are always too excited about that how button click is performed in performing this uh, technology so now we are going to change the state on the click of a button so for that I need to import button first of all and then I have to define button ok so ok so is telling that you have to close the button here and okay view config that's fine what what you want to tell that okay so this is actually we have to use the capital button here so that's it was my mistake and okay so still there is an error so i think i have to use the title tag with that to show the button name like click now you can see that this is working fine so that's why this is not working like the html so if you define if you do not define the properties the at least the uh, uh, minimum properties of any tag then it will give you an error so fine so first of all just try to call a function here like uh, on press so here i'm going to create a arrow function if you don't know about the arrow function don't worry just 
read about just google about this and this is very useful in uh, ECMAScript 6 also so here I have to use this dot function name like I have the function with the name of change state that's fine so just create a function here uh, the change state and alert here just for now alert something like hi now just click here you can see that hi so if you do not use the arrow function this will not going to work properly so you can see that this is uh, this is always pop up without on click because this is not an event handling properly so that we have to use the uh, arrow function here so now fine now we have to use the uh, uh, update the state like this dot state state this is a function to update the state and within curly brackets use object and here we can put that state is changed now now see when I am going to click on this the text will be changed you can see that because uh, once the state is changed the text of this state will also change so this is a very simple fundamental and the same way the props is also very important in the react native so in the next video we are going to talk about the props and how props work and what is really props in react native so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our channel please don't forget to like this video and uh, if you have any solutions and any issue then please comment in the comment box i will try to solve your problem thanks guys thanks for watching